regardless, there wouldn't be, there would be all those <laughs> American <laughs> laws. I was like, how are these? It's the Trans Canada Corporation is building pipeline using the tar sands in China, and this Wait, no. is using Chinese regulations. No. 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 Where are the tar sands in China? No, the, the tar care? sands are in Canada, right? Are they, yes. You're saying yeah. that they're going to sell the you're, land to China? No, they're go the oil is going to go to China. Chinese oil regulations of any kind are not as safe as U.S. regulations at all. So, well, okay, but, regard, I mean, okay, it doesn't matter because China is not what we're talking about. We're talking about the Keystone Pipeline going through America. America. So you basically, you don't care about the environment. You only care about No, because we, we have to protect what we can protect. There's nothing we can do about China's policies. That's up to, up to China's politics. But for us, oh, no, so we just a band we have I mean, we have to protect okay. building, the, taking, building the Keystone Pipeline would protect America from Chinese intervention. Because if we didn't if we didn't build the pipeline with TransCanada, then China would come in and take over the oil industry in North America. And then we'd have to buy from China and losing American jobs in the process. But that increases our dependency on foreign oil anyways, even if we do it with Canada. So Which is why we should keep it domestic. So yeah, that's why we should do it here. We'll, we'll be getting increasing oil imports from stable, friendly neighbors while decreasing reliance on like Venezuela and like Saudi Arabia. Like. But this oil is highly corrosive and like the dirtiest of Thanks for time. responding yeah, to the I'm point. Yeah, I'm responding to her that point. That was really yeah, subtle. It's going to, it's going to Which, why is this oil any better than this oil in Saudi Arabia? <coughs> the point of the pipeline is overseas transmission of the oil. Most of this oil isn't going to go to the United States anyways because there's so many. There's 1.7 trillion barrels of oil in the tar sands right now. Also, projected, if we build this pipeline, gas prices in America will go up about 15 cents per gallon. So I how are we... I quite understand how the gas industry works. The reason why we have these inflated prices is because of the unstable countries in Middle East, Saudi Arabia, South America. No, the it's prices are increasing due to this, this, due to the Trans-Canada Pipeline. Their own governments. They're due to the Trans-Canada Pipeline, not the other governments. No. Right now, no, if we built this, 15 cents is added to every gallon. No. Yes, it is. The way yeah. it works is we have oil to export. That way we have a hand in the market. This allows us to have a, a decision in how we scale the prices. If we just rely on foreign oil from the Middle East and other unstable countries, due to like the, the instability of the governments, it causes really like mass fluctuations. And because we don't have any oil sources for ourselves, we can't choose to buy from another source. But if we say we have our own oil that we ourselves can export at a price, it forces them to lower their competition. Canada's exporting. Thanks. That was good. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's been proven, though, that gasoline made from the tar sands gives a Toyota Prius the same impact on the climate as a Hummer using gasoline made from oil. So how, how, do, you, how do you defend your, your claim that it wouldn't be, it would in the long run be better for the environment if we used tar sands when these clear facts have been given about their detrimental effects? Well, they're all, they're all, they're all, they will either be used here, if we make the pipeline, or in China. If we don't make the pipeline, and TransCanada sells that tar oil to China, and we will prevent more oil... We, we already get tar no, oil not from No, we're not China. discussing we've been, spills, we've been we're discussing emissions from vehicles. We've been, we've mm. been, so I don't, I don't understand this China thing, because we've, we're already importing tar sands oil from Canada, so... I don't understand why you keep saying that it's going to China. Okay, um, guys, I think there's uh, somebody in the audience who wants to make a comment. Kaylee, add your hand up. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so China's going to be getting oil from, they're going to be getting oil because the country needs it, whether it's from Canada or not. And so why not, instead of investing all of the money and stuff into the, um, the pipeline, why don't we invest it in like, solar energy or like, sustainable energy in America? And then we'll have more jobs in America and not Canadian American. Just because solar energy is not I, sustainable. Well, because our we our economy is like it's dependent on oil. We need to we need ourselves off of oil, but so, so increasing the oil. We still need oil because yes. our economy is dependent right. on oil. So, we still need so to why don't we make the switch? Why do we have to wait until like oil's running out or whatever? Like, we can't just like switch like that because our economy is already so dependent on oil. Like, we're not switching like that because there's we're still getting oil imports. We're not like losing oil if we don't build this Keystone pipeline. 
we still have ways to import oil. It's just what Kaylee was saying was that instead of having to increase the amount of oil that we have, why don't we just invest in researching alternate forms of energy so that it can be sustainable. And then in the future, when the time does come, then we won't be super dependent on this, say, this pipeline or other like huge imports of Sustainable energy doesn't provide an immediate answer, or even... But we don't need an immediate answer yet. I don't understand why this Keystone Pipeline is so important into, um, in America right now. It's not like we're, we're facing, like, massive, like, cuts on oil supplies. Well, so the like demand for oil is increasingly, is being increased. Then we should stop that demand and start into a decline. We can't with just all this so stop the increase. We have to keep meeting the demand, or else. But then, if you keep the meeting the demand, it's just going to it's just going to keep increasing. So I don't see where that. So how do you goes. propose that we? Decrease so you invest in something. Public transportation, things like that. You invest in searching for different energy sources. We can't afford. But you can but afford you can this pipeline. But this you can pipeline is very, very, very <laughs> expensive. Really we annoying. can afford the pipeline because it provides an immediate source of fuel for. For the country that needs yeah, maybe it. The what happens five years from now when it when you have nothing left or something like that and you need to invest in another thing but you've already spent all your money on the Keystone pipeline? It's not a sustainable resource. No one can see the future, not savvy nope. businessmen or sappy tree huggers. <laughs> so you're saying that we're not gonna run out of oil, because that is it's projected infinite? already. Not we infinite. are at peak oil right now. But that is what a about for a later what day. about <laughs> Our future generations? Great are answer. we just going to leave the world to shit for them? Like, what are they... <laughs> our technology is increasingly efficient. We have ways of managing oil. And uh, we are putting our money into trying to make oil and coal a safe and clean energy. Coal as a safe and clean energy. That is really. right. Our coal is clean. There is clean coal energy. factories coal out there, You want to know. <laughs> okay, Romney. Coal <laughs> 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 I think we, we yeah. on that one. Okay, um, <laughs> so would you like to keep <laughs> supporting the dictators and unstable governments by buying their oil for what the American dictator? people? What, what name? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, Venezuela. Those aren't people. <laughs> I didn't say that's... You said dictators. Yeah. He's a dictator. He's a dictator. Don't have I said dictators. unstable countries. You said, you said dictators. dictators. Yeah, supporting dictators in unstable countries. Dictators are managing unstable countries. That's how it works. Thank you for that history fact. Um, anyways, we should go on uh, about the irreversible. No, 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 Answer the question. What, what was, was the your question? question? There was there was no just, question. Just you just stated, stated some unstable. random thing about okay. Venezuela and okay. Saudi Arabia. All right. You guys aren't listening. You guys are terrible at this. Like, we <laughs> ask you a question, and you're just like, oh, you. we don't know. I guess we'll just. Sorry, we're just, we're just, oh, we're it's just, better than I've been you. Really Sorry that we're just happy tree huggers. Cool, out of nowhere. Okay, thank okay. you. Just repeat the question. Okay, the fact shady. the fact that the Keystone Pipeline is not is in North America doesn't mean that countries from the Middle East and South America won't come in and take over the industry. If we don't build a pipeline, then even though it's in Canada and the U.S., um, countries such as Saudi Arabia and Venezuela might come in and take over the industry. So why not take advantage of that and provide American jobs? They already have taken over the oil industry. OPEC, that's run by them. Okay, so well, that's, that's why we're trying is, to build a pipeline. This is the trans It's not like they're going to come here to fight on American yes. soil and suddenly without like government interference, like buy up all the land and set up a pipeline. The way oil works is because, is because of it's such a high demand, and increasingly high demand, by the way, it's, these foreign countries can keep demanding higher and higher prices because we don't have an alternative. We have to buy from them. They're the only source we have. That's why we have to create an alternative. That's why we have to create an alternative, such this as a an U.S. pipeline. A U.S. pipeline an alternative of oil. Source of oil, oil to foreign oil. That's right. So how do you feel about peak oil now, then? If we're continually finding this new oil, how do you feel about the peak oil? The concept. The peak oil has um, it's been determined that we have reached peak oil, I believe, back in 2000, well, 2001. Has the second, that's why the demand is so high. And with this we pipeline already been receiving oil from Canada, so I still don't understand. So no, so what I still don't understand no, 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 is why. Break it down first. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What I still don't understand is what 
the heck you're talking about about demand going up, like increasing demand, and why we have to all of a sudden use this huge pipeline to somehow reach this unattainable demand. I, okay. I feel like we're reaching demand on the unstable country. But then if you keep if you use this pipeline, you're actually increasing reliance on no, you're Canada. Not, yes, we are. are. We're so that's that's reliance on Canada. Canada is a stable country. It's better to have to rely on a stable country than an unstable But I thought you wanted to the decrease be it's reliance a democratically on foreign countries. countries. No, we're trying Instead to of a dictatorship. reliance on unstable countries. Mm, I can't even go into Canadian politics. So, I can't. you're okay <laughs> with being dependent on <coughs> another country? Socialist. A friendly, stable nation. Okay. It's a socialist nation, then, by the way. Then, not on another country... Such as Venezuela, which we don't even import that much from. We import something like I forget it, a lot <laughs> oh, <laughs> something so. like of our of our oil. We we import already from Canada, so I don't see why this Keystone Pipeline would be helpful at all. Because I mean, OPEC is a is a is a. Um, it's like a team, I guess. It's like a corporation. It's a combination of multiple countries, so it's actually more stable than any singular country. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Because it's like crazy war going on. No, but it doesn't matter if the war is going on because OPEC is an independent. Is, in, is an independent group of group of people. So I don't see what. The money is still going to those governments. Though. Yeah. But I mean, OPEC itself is, is what controls the prices in, of the oil. So right. So if we build our own, then this allows a stable country who doesn't have any incentive to keep increasing the oil prices, and it allows them to yes, shift the does. market. What happens when the resources run lower? They're going to increase the prices. So no, they're just going to get more oil. I guess so there's oil a oil that you have right now. At the point, if this pipeline is built, you will ship about, or you will get about 1.8 million barrels of oil a day, okay? So, if we do the math here, that's about uh, 9,444 days before you run out of 1.7 billion barrels of oil. Which means, in 25 years, we will run out of oil in Alberta, Canada, which is where all this tar sand oil is coming from. Also, another thing about that, it's irreversibly going to kill off about a chunk of land the size of Florida from this tar sand itself, okay? Florida is a pretty big state the last time I looked at a map. Florida also needs oil. <laughs> so you're willing to give people Thank oil, you. but while in the process killing off that much land, like you're willing to sacrifice a land size, a chunk of land the size, like the size of Florida. You have to think of the bigger picture oil. of 25 years. No, you look, long this is gonna run. you look at the big picture. You look at the big picture and see how much life the you're killing there. Picture. The biggest picture. The biggest picture. The earth. Picture the is earth. That people need oil. No, no, no. no. The biggest no, picture no. is that people need to wean off of oil because we know that oil is not a sustainable resource. So the well, biggest picture that you need to look at we're, is we're that. Still have a wean ourselves off Okay, it's like this. How we're like we sixteen year old, sixteen years old, and we're still sucking on our mom's tip for you know, Okay, oh. <laughs> this is what this is like. What you're going? <laughs> would you like an alternative oh. energy source yes. to yes, your mother's breast? <laughs> <laughs> That's the point here. We're supposed to switch over. We're supposed to wean ourselves off before we get How too mature. By investing, By investing in alternate source energy. energy. What have you not been listening to this whole time? <laughs> well, we did that with Solyndra, right? We did. We tried with Solyndra and that failed miserably. Solyndra is a super company. Wait, but you said that's a very good explanation. Wait, 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 wait. You said that you can't base Solyndra. You can't base a stupid decision on his. That's a very good picture. You're using Solyndra as as an example to refute investing in alternate source of energy. It's irrelevant to talk about. Well, yeah, then it's exactly. irrelevant, it's irrelevant to, talk to talk about who one of your pipelines that is built Obama. miserably. Who are they trying to get to invest in Keystone? Obama. Like, the difference Obama. is Solyndra is trying to search for an energy source. We know that oil works as an energy source. The process of getting but solar, you don't know that your pipe works. But you don't know that your pipe works. What are your numbers of investment also, into other alternative <laughs> energy sources? I know that like Obama doesn't like oil. Oh, I'm not talking about Obama. I'm talking about TransCanada. You guys. Why would we care about that? How much have you guys, company? yourself, your company, invested into Wait, alternative energy? So you're energy? telling us the way to solve America's uh, dependency on oil is for TransCanada to, to research alternative energy? It's going companies to help. Companies like TransCanada like Trans as well as yourselves. 
So we have very distinct <laughs> viewpoints here. Is to have You're distinct viewpoints. You have the money and you have the oil. Oil, 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 oil okay, company. Well, ours is trying to get it off. Yes. You, that we're just asking right. for you. We're asking for you to at least meet us halfway. Like at least make the effort to try and move into the future. You don't have to like. Okay. Um, renewable resources and alternate sources of energy have been like highly developed and researched. Uh, you know, and they're being continuously researched, but they take years to implement and use in a practical way, like the Prius, the car, um, you know, they didn't just come up with that in a year, it took years of research. And they're trying to develop electric cars, but to make them at an affordable price and to mass produce them is going to take years. So why not use oil in the meantime? And once we have a stable because way of making... When you, because when you, when you invest in the pipeline, then you're losing... You're using money that you could be using to to expedite the process in which you. The money is still being spent on researching. No, 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 but not enough. No, but but then you need if you if you put more money into research, then that'll that'll further expedite and speed up the process of finding that that's renewable source of energy that we can use instead. But then, but then, wait. I'm done. (laughs) Waiting. So if you if you use that money instead of using it for oil, you can put it in a much better place, put it in a much better investment into the future. Whereas oil is definitely, I mean, it, I granted it will provide short term economical you know boost, but in the long run, you need to be able to you need to be able to have something that will sustain your future, not just your like tomorrow. It will <laughs> that there's the problem is that sustainable energy, we have no guarantee that it will actually reach any new bounds of research that will come up with anything productive. We know that oil is an immediate solution. And as long as we need it immediately, we're going to have to invest in it. Well if you if you say that there's well you say that there's no guarantee for future for, sus, for sustainable energy to work. But then if you don't invest, there definitely is a guarantee well, we that you would not find it. We have invested. 